Hi, welcome to the Forstronics YouTube channel and blog. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create an Android app that can communicate with an RN42 Bluetooth module. And the RN42 is a great Bluetooth module for basically creating a wireless serial connection to your project. And in this project, for the example we're going to use, we'll use an Arduino. Let's get started. One thing I'll point out before I dig in is here, we're just going to use the RN42, how it, how it comes out of the box. And I should mention that I'm actually using the RN42XV, which is basically just takes the RN42, which is very small, and mounts it on a circuit board so it's easier to access its pins for prototyping. Okay, in the schematic, you can see my setup. Here, we have the RN42 hooked up to an Arduino Uno. Since the Arduino Uno is 5 volt logic and the RN42 is 3.3 volt logic, I have a simple voltage divider set up. And then also I have an LED connected to pin 7 of the Arduino along with a resistor for current limiting. So what I'm going to do here is our Android app that we're going to build is going to basically connect to the RN42 and turn on and off the LED on the Arduino. You can see the parts list. On bullet number two, I have a breakout board for an XB module. All this is, is a board, once again, for easy prototyping that connects to the RN42 XV board and allows me to put it on a, uh, a breadboard. Okay, so let's dig into the code for the Arduino and then for the, um, the Android app. And then from there, we'll look at a demonstration of, of the setup. Okay, so we're looking at the Arduino sketch for this example. And as you can see at the top, all I do is create a variable to hold my uh, pin number for the LED. I'm going to start my serial connection because I have a serial connection with the RN42. That's how I'm communicating with it. I then set my pin 7 to output and I then initialize it as low. So the LED is off to start with. I then go into my loop. I declare a string. I listen for um, serial data in the buffer. If I have some in there, if there's some available, I will add it to the string. Then if my string length is not zero and my string equals on, I'll set the LED pinned on. And also note that I'm going to write back. So I'm going to do a two-way communication. The app is going to tell the Arduino via Bluetooth to turn the LED on. And then the Arduino is going to answer that the LED is on. So we have both back and forth communication going on. And then I'm going to do if else equals off. Uh, I'm then, of course, going to set the LED to low to turn the LED off. Okay, let's look at the Android code. Okay, for the Android code, I used MIT's App Inventor 2. MIT App Inventor 2 makes creating Android apps very easy. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of, of what I did to create mine. If you're just getting started with this, just go into the help and start doing the tutorials. It's real easy to use. The interface you're looking at now is what you use to build the, the interface to the app. So I have these, these user interface pieces, such as a button. I have a checkbox, which I'll use to turn the LED on and off. I have a text box, which I'll display the response from the Arduino LED is on or off. This button is going to bring up a list of my Bluetooth devices so I can select it. And then, of course, the disconnect button. So these are my this is my user interface to the app. If I go to the blocks, that's where my code is. So I have a graphic graphical code. These two blocks basically build my list of available Bluetooth devices or Bluetooth addresses. When I connect to one, I will call this function, which I'll show in a second. And then I'll set one of my labels to connected to show that we're connected to Bluetooth. The function or procedure as App Inventor calls it, but I like to think of it as a function, will then check to see if the checkbox is checked. If it's checked, it will send over Bluetooth using the Bluetooth client. It'll send on, which of course will tell the Arduino to turn the LED on. It will then read back the response, and I'm reading back a 9-bit response. This will this is this. This is the response we saw in the Arduino code. Or if the checkbox is not checked, because this is an if statement, else it'll tell it to turn it off, and then it will read the response. So this is a function. This function is executed right when it's connected. 
that func same function is also executed every time the status of the checkbox changes. So if I change the checkbox, this function is called, I make sure that I'm connected, and if I am, I call this function to, to send the correct status over Bluetooth to the Arduino. And then of course, this is for my disconnect button. So the Arduino code, I'll post a link where you can check it out on my blog. And then also I'll have a link where you could download this app. And all you got to do is load it into App Inventor and you'll have exactly what I have to get started. Okay, let's see this in action. Here is the RN42. Here's my LED. Here's my Arduino. You can see I have the app on a Android tablet. I'm going to press that button to connect to an address. So I'm going to pause the video real quickly. So I connect, I pressed a button that brings up a list of all the available Bluetooth devices that I'm paired with, uh, that my Android device is paired with. Here's the address to the RN42. You can see Firefly. That's one of the default names. And so I'm just going to press it to select it. And then my app is going to connect to it. So it takes a second to connect. You can see connected here on the label, so we know we're connected. Here's the LED. Now once I press the checkbox, we can see the LED go on. If I press the checkbox again, it goes off. Notice too that in this text box, you can see the reply from the Arduino. LED is off, LED is on. So that's that's the simple example. I'm just gonna press the disconnect button to end my connection. Okay, so there's a quick example of the Android app in action. One thing to note, I mentioned it briefly during the video, but when you do this, you have to first pair the Bluetooth or the RN42 module with the Android device. So you go into Android's um, Bluetooth settings, look for the RN42 and pair it. If you do not pair it, the app is not gonna find the address. If you're interested in the Arduino code, you can find it on my blog, and you can just copy and paste it into an Arduino sketch. And then if you use this link here to, a, to my Dropbox account, it'll download the AIA file. And if you download the AIA file and then load it into App Inventor, which I showed a link to earlier, but just search MIT App Inventor 2 and you'll find it. You'll, you'll have the project and you can just start where, with, with that app. Please subscribe to my Forstronics YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you for watching.